So it's really early in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning. But guess what? Super Dragon Ball Heroes episode 45 just came out. And in this video, we're going to go over the entire episode and tell you exactly what happened. No translations because the episode just came out. You're going to have to wait a little while before we get new translations. Let's get started with this intro. So it starts off where it immediately left off. The current Supreme Kai versus the formal Supreme Kai time. Karana versus Ios. There's a lot of words, a lot of dialogue is changed in this episode. To cut to the chase, she wants the time scrolls back. And that's what Ios do. She put all of them there together and it's wagered on this one battle. Ios then teleports them both outside so they can begin their battle to take in that the lucky box that was used to go ahead and select each individual to participate in the super space-time tournament is the same box used to store all the erased histories that Karan is trying to get back. Once outside, that's when the real battle starts with Ios transforming into her time unleashed form. The current Supreme Cop time Karana looks at this and she transforms into her time unleashed form as well. Two have a standoff, and very soon Ios began the first attack. Battle is then started between two different time gods. I kid you not, the first attack that Ios throws almost overwhelms the current Supreme Kai time. Karana begins to think about to all the times that they push through Super Saiyan God Trunks, defeating the old Demon King Gogeta, defeating Goku Black, Universal Blue Goku, defeating you he's thinking about this as well as defending off Io's attack and Io's goes even harder actually beating Karana in the fight now that's it that fight is done one attack Karana is on the floor this is when Goku appears with the time fairy smiling but after seeing the current situation he gets really serious after talking with Karana the current supreme cloud time Goku begins to try to play this case with Io's I don't know exactly what they're saying or I'm pretty sure that Goku is saying hey this tournament was fun and all that but hey can you please return those histories back I really don't want those histories erased if I have a gift or if I have a prize I want all the universes or all their histories to return back to normal I'm pretty sure this is taking the same page off the book as the tournament of power after pretty much telling Goku no and that this is the way things have to be this is when she goes for the attack against Goku, shooting that same beam at Goku. Goku immediately disappears, comes back behind her, willing Ultra Instinct. We got to know Goku. Io, she acknowledges that power. She knows about Ultra Instinct. The battle has now taken a different course, a different contender, that being Goku. Meanwhile, Karana is still on the ground spectating the battle. Now check this out, even though Goku's willing the power of Ultra Instinct, the technique of the angels, I don't know if this is true Ultra Instinct or not, just like in the manga, but he is willing Ultra Instinct Omen. We haven't seen the silver hair form in a long time. But even though willing this type of power kind of puts him above a lot of enemies, but as he's attacking Ios, she's dodging his attacks fairly easily like she has the ability to. Begins to get back some distance between the both and she tries to shoot attacks at him again which she just dodges using the power of Ultra Instinct. Eventually he reaches her and he knees her directly in the face just for her to tank that and then use his knee to actually jump on the other side. He then sends multiple attacks Goku's way and the power of Ultra Instinct, the way they animated this scene was fantastic. Using the technique of the angels, he's able to get back in her face again, but somehow she's able to see that and send even more attacks surrounding Goku by multiple time attacks. This battle looks like it's coming to a conclusion with her getting ready to fire off her final attack. Goku responds by going with a Kamehameha. Ayo, she shoots off her attack, and right before it reaches Goku, Goku pulls a card out of the Goku vs. Cell book. 
uses instant transmission to disappear and show up right at her doorstep. Ailes tries to shoot another blast towards his way, but he's already going through with his blast, breaking some type of time bubble along with it. Goku's tired, Ailes is damaged, but notably, Goku is still in Ultra Instinct, Ailes is standing in front of him, and she's mad. The scene is then switched to the Void of Space or the Void of Space Time, and we see an old guy who looks like the old Dark King, but something's weird about him. He's kind of dark purple or pink. I believe he's vowing on how he will destroy the Time Patrol because they destroyed him anyway, but that's when he's stabbed in the back. And the person who did this was the Mengra. Now, in the last video that I posted before this one, I mentioned how Domingo wanted to be the new Dark King ever since Few came into the picture. Teaser trailer that we got way back, I believe six to eight months back, showed that those two was gonna cross paths and the old form of Dark King was going to die. Just like the dark factor, the substance that Few took in to become the new Dark King, Domingo is taking that same very substance from the old form of Dark King. That's what this episode leads off. Now let me know in the comment section below. What do you think about the battle between Goku and Ios? It's by far way better than any other battle that I've seen in this arc so far. This battle isn't concluded yet, so do you think Goku's going to use the gray hair or the silver hair ultra instinct against her? Is it possible to see the Susano Goku go against Ios? That would be crazy. Now this video's comment shout out goes to Behold Omega who says thanks for this, gave this a like. I look forward into the new episode. When well, the new episode is here, if you want to be shouted out in the next video, all you have to do is give this video a like just like he did. Watch this video to the very end. Of course, being subscribed to the channel and turn on those post notifications. That way you can be reminded every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. If you made it to the end of the video, then 9 times out of 10, you're a very loyal subscriber, and I thank you for your continued support. As you well know, Yellow Plays is where I post all my Dragon Ball content. Effective immediately, I will be posting all Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Ball Super Manga, or Dragon Ball Super Fan Animations or Mangas on my second channel, Yellow Plays 2.0. All Super Dragon Ball Heroes content will remain on this channel. For those ones who may not know, I also have a gaming channel called The Yellow. It has 43,000 subscribers on it. So show me some support. If you follow my Dragon Ball Super manga videos a lot, then subscribing to Yellow Plays 2.0 will be the best choice. Once again, thank you for watching to the end of this video, and I thank you all for your continued support.